Hi, how you doing? I'm Will Friedle. I played Eric on Boy Meets World, and I'm here with some other people. So to my left over here is... Uh, I'm Michael Jacobs, and I produce the show. And to my left over here is... Yeah. Ryder Strong. I play Sean Hunter. Then they send you two into a dark closet. Okay, well, open shirt. With your lips. Layers. Layers. <laughs> open shirt and t-shirt. It's Fake amazing. eating. It's every, open shirt, t-shirt. It's amazing. I was so thin, it scares me. Nobody's talking to you. Just trying to help. Okay. I had wings in my hair. <laughs> You did. I'm ready for a, a to lot take of years. off you for did. a lot of years. Well, they finally rings. started just putting straightener in my hair. Yeah. Because they used to actually, like, every episode try and straighten it out. But, man, back then it was just, I'm flying. Time, Time bomb. bomb. <laughs> I can't believe it. Remember I get, when I see them again, they come, they come back. I love the, the just has, totally fake works. blue jello. I mean, why is there a 43 year old woman? But did you see her behind you? <laughs> did. Oh, this oh, was, remember her? Uh, yeah. What was her name? I can't remember what? her name. She had those really cool eyes. She had one eye that was that was blue, That's and the, right. the other eye was literally cut down the middle, half gray, half blue. That's it was really right. cool. Mr. Turner, we are not in high school. I like these characters that we had like a well, six, seven episode run with. Oh we yeah, did, we did that very rarely. Yeah, but it was great when yeah. they came on. Look at her behind there. Does she not look like Trish? What are you looking at? Teach me about her. Is there a 43-year-old woman in the back? Oh, that's right there. <laughs> Seriously, how old is she compared to the kid she's sitting next to? Maybe she's a sub. How'd she get there? I didn't cast her. I don't know. Susan Jansen wrote this episode. Oh, is this the seven seconds in heaven? Or whatever, seven I think seconds yes. in the closet yeah. yes. yeah. thing? She she is somebody's mother. She she must have won a contest. You know, one of these you get to be an <laughs> get extra to be on, on Boy Meets World one day. And and her kid couldn't make it, and she showed up. And somebody just put her at the table. Oh, I really, really wish I could remember her name. She was great, really nice too, if memory serves. She was on for a couple episodes. Yeah, I like that. What we tried to do was delineate a brand new character like Tony by giving him an automatic relationship. Yep. It's a nice level. Yeah. He just, he was one of those people that just snapped right in with all of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As friends, too. I mean, oh. we all just, we just love Tony. Ridiculous. There's my fake eating, pushing the stuff around so I don't have to actually eat anything. Take a tiny, tiny bite. Let's see if you eat that whole piece. No, no. I'm going to get to no, do this with it the fork. Get it off the Because I have lines <laughs> I have now. lines. I have lines. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, set it down. Time to stop eating completely. Of course. And then we've all got that jello. I don't yeah. get it. Yeah. Oh, it's so awful. Always on every tray. Yeah, it was, there was. There was, was that. that little cup. Of Jello and the bright orange drink, whatever it was, that normally. says cola. cola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, we had remember one of our our, our there prop, it is cola. Our prop guy was was named Mark Papson, and he used to make up different Papsons? sodas. Doctor so Papson used to have Doctor Papson's instead of Doctor Pepper. I have a I still have a can. can. Me too. He, he signed a Doctor Papson's. A Doctor Papson's. So great. But what I like is how they they treat the intelligence of the audience. The soda says cola. <laughs> cool. The carton over there says milk. Milk. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> I think there's a scene where, where Rusty grabs a beer and it just says beer. beer. Yeah. <laughs> you know? right. We should have put a sign on Corey. Kid. 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 Boy. <laughs> oh, you ate. You actually ate a decent-sized piece of something. He must have a monologue. Yeah, he's got <laughs> Oh, this, if memory serves, Ben starts laughing here. Oh, that's right. You guys kept we, it in because kept... it was so funny. Because the... <laughs> He can't hold the kid, it. The kid never worked. We got so. out before yeah, we had, had to. a quick fade. The kid Ryder, what worked. are you wearing? <laughs> okay, that's the worst. <laughs> that's, that's the worst thing. You look like work? a couch from the 70s. <laughs> a couch from the 70s with a bulletproof with vest the, over it. You know, it's amazing because we, we just did this show, and it's as if we're, we're 20 years it, old. It is. It really is. <laughs> we didn't just do this show. This was 1994. It's 10 years ago. Look at that years. outfit. Oh, God. That is horrible. God, that's so that's terrible. horrible. Don't worry about nice vest. Wings and vests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the big makeout party scene. Yep. Uh, here she comes. You know, it's really funny in, in putting a television show together. You know, in Seinfeld, Ju Julia Louis Dreyfus represented all women. Yep, women right? everywhere. And and Danielle is just yeah. you know the the female representative of, of our show. of everyone around. Yeah. What a great job she Perf did. Oh yeah, perfect. I mean, couldn't have gotten a better Topanga. Into the closet. Into the closet. Now, what do you talk about when the door shuts and you're in the closet with this? 
young woman that is only going to be there for, for 10, mi- 10 minutes. What do you or whatever. say? Well, do you just a lot there? of times we wouldn't even meet them. If they were an extra like that, we wouldn't meet them no. until the second. And I remember my first on screen kiss was it was either this season or the season before. And it was like, so rather say hi, you know, and no one, you know, you never have that talk. Are we going to actually kiss? Are we going to fake kiss? I mean, what's, what's going to happen here? I mean, no one ever explains any of that to you. It was <laughs> awful. And I remember just being so nervous and trying to ca- stay just calm. keep and, like, kissing her until she pushes you away. That's what <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Well, we talked about this in last uh, the last set of DVDs, but Ben's first kiss well, he was with so Danielle petrified. was oh. the funniest petrified. thing. That, yes. He was sure Scared. he was going to get cancer uh, and yeah, die. I never thought he was going to get up. cancer yeah. or AIDS and I'm dying. He, he did. Want, he, he wanted, wanted he me to dead. list the diseases he could possibly get, get from kissing <laughs> from kissing danielle yeah uh, he got used to it real fast look how strong she is and look how nervous he is uh-huh was this during ben's pants pull-up phase when he would pull he would constantly pull, just pull up on his pants yeah. the whole th- yeah. the whole time so you're just doing this so you won't be different she is so strong yeah. constantly oh, yeah. Cute, yeah the poise from the second she she came on yeah that's the biggest closet in the basement I've ever seen. Look at her hair. Her hair just gets straighter and straight. And finally, <laughs> you're not head, it's like... do nothing. The dresses become more normal. Yeah. And we introduced her sister at one point, and Nebula never came back. Yeah. Nebby. I always wanted to name her Kanoga, the sister. <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been great. Yeah. Been Everyone in their life would have wanted to. I just it. felt that the country wouldn't understand. Topanga was excited. You know, there's a, a woman that wrote to us that named her child Topanga. Danielle oh, said she's I met just two met people. a guy who named his dog Topanga. <laughs> his dog. So we got a child and a dog. <laughs> a a dog. And a dog. I don't great. know if that's something I can tell Danielle, though. Yeah, sure you can. She it's, a gra- a it's a great dog name. It is. Topanga. Like, it's a little hard to say. Come here, Topanga. Yeah. Come here. What's amazing about her performance, too, is as centered as she is, and as she's really, I mean, as a person, she's really bouncy. Yeah, she's all over yeah. the place. She's so energetic. So this is pure acting to be able to have that Just, you know, yeah. focus. You know what I think it is, though? I think it's the fear. You know, it's only three or four episodes later that she came in. Yeah. But at this point, even in, even in the second season, it's, she's playing catch-up, and she's establishing this character, right. and in doing so, She's so calm and strong in what she does. Yeah. I remember the uh, the end uh, of the episode where she ran for student council. Remember how hard yep. that one was on her? Yep. Where it actually said executive producer Topanga at yeah. the end. They, they took your name off and put <laughs> out Topanga. That yeah. yeah, was great. She had a lot of trouble with that. She always fought through everything, though. It was amazing. Skis, but it's every single sport is covered in that closet. Yeah, boxing gloves, <laughs> the skis. boxing gloves next to the skis, next to the fishing nets. <laughs> oh, our room. This was the bedroom. The giant baseball bat. You know, I think one of the things that helped this series uh, was the adult um, contingent. You know, besides Bill. Rusty and Betsy were always yeah. very, very sharp yep. and very real. They yeah. weren't like these idiot parents. Annoying parents. Yeah. They were great with each other, too, when the scenes that they just did, the two they of loved them together, each other. You could, were they loved each other. Fantastic. So, Stubby, what happened? Tell me. Look how tiny you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got 150 <laughs> pounds light. <laughs> this is pre-Big Mac. <laughs> how old are you, then? Six, Eight, 17? 18? 18. 18, it must have been. Second season, 18, 19. It's amazing what a difference that made, though. When oh. you started the show, you were 16, and we were 13. And yeah, I mean, just huge difference. You were basically on your own. You had already out graduated high school by the second oh, season. Oh yeah, and I was I was living yeah, on your own in living LA by myself in Los Angeles. I didn't move out until I was 16 or 17. Yeah, I was. We uh, tried so hard to do good costumes and good sets, and you le- would you ever wear a, a gray shirt that said <laughs> no, 23 that just and a pair 23 green for, shorts for, and dirty socks? No, yeah. for no reason. It's just a 23. It's, I'm okay. Look at that shirt, Look at Ryder. that shirt. What is what Here, Indian reservation did you get that on is my question. It's okay, Cora. I think it's only a few guys in now the big. I remember Sarah took over, right? That was, this was yes, her Sarah year. Yes, Sarah Markowitz. Was that this year yeah. or was that? Because she brought, oh, Totally tied. Tie. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so yeah, the big thing was wow. Her big thing was was bowling shirts, and she was way ahead of her time with that. Do you remember that? Yeah, Harley. Yeah. She Harley, put, Harley, start, Harley started. Right. With the and then shirt, yeah. it was like and movies like Swingers everywhere. came out, That's and everybody right. was wearing bowling shirts, yeah. and that lounge. St- she was way ahead yeah. of her time. And yet nobody ever wore those shirts at all, right? No, the seventies couches never took. That's the one. The one shirt they ever made like that, somehow you got it. 
And actually, uh, the, this was the, the high school I don't think we talked about was named John Adams High, and it was actually named because Bill was in 1776, right? Because he yeah. played John Adams? Look at her. <laughs> he just off doing his own thing. Danielle's on the screen. I'm, <laughs> I'm entranced. Oh my! All right. So what do you ask? Wasn't the, the high school was named seven, was named John Adams High because Bill played John Adams That's in 1776? Right, 1776, right? Yeah. Look, there's that little cup carton Jello thing. Okay. Oh, and he's in the orange. same shirt. Oh Harley yeah, Harley had one shirt. shirt. And and oh. Joey Durat's in a sort Joey, of Joey Durat. What's she doing behind him? I don't know. <laughs> that must just get boring, though. You look, look to at do her. whatever you can. What is he? I'm, look at Ben trying not to laugh because he's <laughs> playing with his food. Did you see that? He was just playing. Dumped out the jello. I can't look at anything but your shirt. My wavy hair is yeah. kind of distracting, too. <laughs> this This... Lovely blonde extra is <laughs> stealing, trying her best to take this scene. Yeah, she's silent acting. <laughs> Nothing can be that funny, honey. There's <laughs> <laughs> Ethan. He was just such a presence. Yeah, he's great. Catherine? Was that her name on the show or in real life? What 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 was our Native American? phase we were going through here. Sarah, I, I don't know. Sarah. Sarah. I don't know, all Sarah. I don't know what it was. It must have been Sarah, yeah. Do you remember the outfits she would show up? I she was so. in a crazy dresser. I think I'm just wearing a dream catcher in the next <laughs> scene. You know, on uh, on this year's American <laughs> Idol, yeah. at the beginning of the year, the I can't remember her name, oh, but what's she gonna looked be sad exactly is I'm gonna be able like to tell Sarah. You. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Good, um, yeah. Um, the, with the pink hair. Right. Uh, I can't remember her name, but yeah, I know who you're talking about. It reminded me of Sarah. Sarah was our, our wardrobe lady who was who was very eccentric to the point where She's she great. went home one day and painted her entire house bright purple. Yeah. On the street of all white houses, it was Remember, just She really would show up purple. in, like, fur coats. Really funky stuff, colors. different colored hair. So great. And apparently part Native American. That's how <laughs> <laughs> we're all dressed. <laughs> what a punch in the bear. Punch in the bear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Betsy was always impeccably dressed. Plus, well, because she was on her way to the real estate to the real estate art, office, gallery. Our, 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 <laughs> art gallery sewing club thing. Was he working? He was in an office at this point, or did he already? No, he was, own he was the already the grocery uh, store. He's the the he's, manager he's of the, the grocery the store. grocery store manager right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. He didn't start as the grocery store man. I yeah. Think he did. Yeah. He was always the grocery. Because then he oh, wins okay. the grocery, and that's that's the the, <laughs> that's right. the the height of his career. I thought, I, <laughs> I thought it was because he was always in like he was uh, started off in more ties and stuff, and then you guys well, put him in. Because he's the manager. Oh. Okay. We just never told you what he was. Right. We, we, we left didn't it know, open. You know? Okay. We, we didn't know. And then we, Lenny Spinelli came in, and he right. became the grocer. Right. And we we had a lot to do, Ryder. We, I know. We <laughs> just made stuff up. I just remember the award that he won. You guys had the a grocery, a, like a shopping cart was yeah. bronze. And no. didn't you become a bag boy for a little while? For a while, yeah. So I could buy the watch, that the the cool watch that I could. It was the baseball watch that you guys always added the sound effect where every time I tried to see That's the time, right. it would go. Da -na 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 -na. Now I completely forgot that the camping store even existed. I, oh that was yeah, whole, the wilderness store. The wilderness store with that incredible. big thing, a beef jerky that Rusty to, to to mess with all of us would just reach his hand in, take a bite out of one, and throw it back into the thing. Oh, and Ben for some reason would always grab the one that that he, <laughs> he ate. It was great. I gotta tell you, you look taller than you actually are. I do. Every that's How'd one you do thing. That? One thing I got from everybody. It's because everyone around me was short at no, the time. I still get that though. People, I they meet me and they're like. You're so much smaller than oh, you are. Oh, yeah. Everyone like, thought I was right. a giant when I did this show. I think that's just the way it works. And ben was three feet tall. I mean, it was... Look, okay, we're playing you sort of like a clean-cut, normal, well, smart... Wasn't that the point of the show? I mean, originally the point was that the older brother was the one who got all the girls and yeah. I was always having the easy time, yeah. and it was the younger brother who was... Well, the show was the pitched to ABC originally as, you know, you had growing pains and family ties and everything was concentrated on the older brother, Kirk right. Cameron, and, my, yeah. and we wanted to do a show that was concentrated on the younger brother, and so, of course, we needed an older brother, and I guess we played you as the clean stereotypical yep. clean cut. And that's how it was right. the first was couple dead seasons. Wrong for you. Well, as it was wrong for you. first couple seasons was all girls and all that. But, but some girl nice crazy. girls. Very nice. Some great some girls, girls that have that become are, really famous. That's right. Heck, yeah. Name them. 
Nikki Cox was your first girlfriend. Was my first girlfriend right. on the show and in L.A. Carrie Russell. Carrie Russell. Uh, who else? There were some other Marguerite, who, who yep. was on, was on the that type of uh, was. Oh God, there was a couple others, and I can't think of who that first. The first, like you know, fourteen episodes was just a different girl yep. every single week. Different girl. Yeah. What, they started making Kathy me the Ireland, idiot. That was fun. Was yes. Kathy Ireland. I yes. became the idiot after this season. That's I remember. right. And then I topped you, man. Well, yeah. wait a second. <laughs> so, so your was... character, but your character, I think, with the cherry bomb in the mailbox. That was the, the episode that, that established. That established who you were going to be forever. Yep. That's the fugitive, right? right? right. That, one that was right. Jeff Sherman's episode. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I like how, what was it, in like it, it, during Eric... Eric Meets World, the episode where Eric goes to Hollywood. Right. Eric goes to Hollywood, I think right. it was called. Where you come in as Sean, right. but you're playing Ryder, and you right. come in and you go, playing. blew up another mailbox yeah. again. <laughs> Is that what we did? Yeah. I can't believe it. Everybody that. died yeah. laughing. It was great. Yeah, what was so my so name? Like Strider or something? Oh, was, uh, like, the yeah, actor playing this character. Like, it was, it was oh, Rory oh, Sandwich oh, and oh, Bread oh, Sandwich. Oh, they were oh, the two brothers. Yeah. <laughs> it right. wasn't like Schneider, Schneider or something like that. It was. It You're was Schneider. Schneider. Introvert, like sitting on the couch rocking right. back and forth. Right. It's a good way for the writers to poke fun at all of our actual personalities. Right. Right. I remember Danielle, Schneider. the minute she opened her mouth, you were like, make her stop. Matt Lawrence was just all of a sudden asking for fruit from his banana guy. Yeah. He like hired a guy to give him fruit. <laughs> yeah. We did lots of. So we should probably talk about this episode. Oh, okay. This one was good too. He's the only one who's dressed well. <laughs> He's dressed well. Yeah, look at him. This was, uh, yeah, that's right. It was it started the very hip coffee shop set for, I think yeah. it was like two oh, episodes. That's right. Where everyone, instead of clapping, we did Stop melted their fingers. This. I like that we made him very sensitive. Yeah, it was oh, great. It was great. It was such a nice touch. And that was established right off the bat and the first time you met him. So now there was no chubbies at this point. No, third no. season third is when season Chubby's, Chubby's came So in. what is right. this? What is this set? I don't remember this, this at the, all. This is the hip shop. coffee shop yeah. where they do the poetry. I don't think I ever And it becomes the make-out session. Yeah, it does, because at the end you're making out with a girl. Wow. I have no <laughs> recollection of that. This is funny because when I was dating Patty, mm -hmm. who became my wife, she was going to Brown in uh, uh, Rhode Island, and there was a place called Elizabeth's. And Elizabeth's, you step downstairs, and there was no seating except for couches. Oh, that's cool. And it was couch, 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 couch. That's great. And it was just the greatest place. And what they had was, you know, basically what a hip coffee shop was. They had um, all of these kids from, from college that would be down there. And when we were putting a set together, I remember that I said, could we just put couches down? It's ahead of its, its time. It is it's a great looking set. It's, uh, there's a lot of places like this now. I remember there was a moment when we talked about opening Chubby's as a chain. That's right. We were like, what? We should, you know, why don't we, we do just it? open yeah. Chubby's? I mean, everybody watches it on the show. It would be a great burger joint. We I were think totally that lasted either. for like a half. Yeah, it was a fun lasted conversation. Like when you and I tried to write that episode first year. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, yeah. That one day we sat together. With the thumb wrestling I'm wrestling. Scene. That's, right. that's, that's right. Let's get ready to fumble. That was <laughs> we our thought it was thing. hysterical. <laughs> we pitched it to you <laughs> guys. Pitched it to you. Did that we listen so... at all? Oh, no. yeah. You and April Kelly. You guys listened. You were like, did they really? Well, what we wanted to do was we wanted Feeney to get stuck babysitting That's us. right. And it was first season, and you guys were like, we're actually already doing one like that's that. That's right. right. That's exactly what it was. We right. did do one like that. Yeah, and you guys had already you had already written when like When Feeney ended up in the hat and the pearls Our idea. Exactly. It was our idea. Did we pay for it? No. No. What's you David gave me a Schwimmer doing once. in this episode? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I love that's what says funky is the different color hair. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the blonde girl from the cafeteria. Now, this African-American guy right there was uh, actually on, I think, every episode until we got out of high school. Really nice guy. I remember that. Yeah. He was like a, a champion martial artist, I remember. Look at her. Was she 14 here, even? 13? Ah, the multicolored juice. <laughs> <laughs> it was He's so, so rare to see Bill laugh and <laughs> smile. And smile. Okay. <laughs> he wants, he He's wants so to know what went on in their right, date. Yeah. What's going on in their date? He's so good. Again with the eating. Tony no lines. Eat. He's eating. Tony can eat. That's because the script said, did you, 
H M M M M M. So he goes, did you? Hmm. Dot dot dot. These guys were great together too. Yeah. Do you guys remember the way Rusty would do table reads? And With have like 15 sh- pencils, sh- and he would sh- underline every one of his lines as he was saying it, and, and then, then circle, circle words, <laughs> circle cross certain out. words, cross like, it what out. What are you doing? I mean, it was such a nervous habit, but it was. I just remember somewhere. him putting scripts all over the set. Oh, yeah. Like he'd be in the middle them. of a scene, and you know, we'd be in the middle of, of, of shooting, and he'd miss a line, and he'd just reach under the chair and pull out a script, you know? <laughs> that wasn't what was going on, guys. We always overwrote the parents. And as we got into the second season, he knew it. And I said, What are you circling? He says, This is what I'm betting Betsy is going to get. Cut. Oh man, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Hi, Topanga. Wow. Well, see ya. So you're... that shirt's a little better, Ryder. <laughs> no, it's, it's the not. Vests you gotta worry. No, no, about. They put me in a vest every a scene in this episode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Stern. Oh, this is good. It was. It is. Watch this. This, this, is, this is funny. I remember. Lights. It's like talking about the Clean fruit the section at the grocery That's store. Right. Syrup. The peaches. Syrup. The drips Darlene Vogel. That was Darlene her Vogel. That right. Was her name. Drips. All the couples. All are here. the couples Who's that? are here. I have no idea. Drips. They 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 pair you Who's up. Who's that? Right. Go. I don't remember. She. I mean. You didn't look once at her. No, they pair us up. They, they, you meet them, like, because these are extras, so they bring them in the last day. I mean, That's, here's the married more. couple, right? <laughs> and watch Feeney being cool. Here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, the tilt man. of the cup. <laughs> He's, he is perfect. Yeah. 